Hello, and welcome to this presentation, Configuring Chirp Modulation on the SMA100B. In this short presentation, we'll show you how to create linear FM or chirp modulated pulses using the Rodian Schwartz SMA100B analog signal generator. Before we get started, it would be a good idea to review pulse signals. A pulse signal can be defined as a signal whose amplitude alternates between a zero and a non-zero level. It's important to keep in mind that when we look at diagrams like this, what we're really looking at is the envelope of an RF carrier that's being switched on and off. When the carrier is on, its frequency and phase may remain essentially constant, but there are also cases where we intentionally change the frequency and or phase of the carrier during each pulse. This is called pulse modulation, or sometimes modulation on pulse. Why use pulse modulation? Pulse modulation is most often used in radar applications, where the length of the pulse is very important. If we want high precision in making distance or range measurements, or if we want to separate closely spaced targets, we need to use shorter pulses. However, using short pulses is difficult for a number of reasons, such as the need for high peak powers. Modulation enables us to use longer pulses to get the same performance as shorter pulses. For this reason, pulse modulation is also sometimes called pulse compression. There are two main ways that pulse compression is done. The first is changing the phase during the pulse, for example using so-called Barker codes. The second way is by changing the frequency of the pulse. Linearly changing the frequency of the carrier during a pulse is one of the most common modes of pulse compression. This linear frequency modulation is very often referred to as chirp because it's similar to rapid frequency changes in the audio domain, such as the chirping of birds. In chirp modulation, the frequency can be either linearly increased upward, as shown here, or downwards over the duration of the pulse. The SMA100B analog signal generator can combine pulse modulation with linear FM or chirp modulation to simulate this type of modulated radar pulse. Chirp signal generation is enabled by software option K725 and also requires options K22, K32, and K720. The SMA uses its own internal generators for creating both the pulse and frequency modulation. And in the remainder of this presentation, we'll explain how to configure chirp modulation using the SMA's simple user interface. As with all other functions on the SMA, chirp modulation can also be configured remotely or programmatically, that is, by means of industry standard Skippy commands. To configure chirp modulation on the SMA100B, we first press on the modulation tile and then select chirp modulation from the list of available modulation types. The first decision that needs to be made is the direction of the chirp. Up means the frequency of the carrier starts low and then moves higher, whereas down means the carrier starts high and moves lower in frequency. Because chirp is linear FM, the frequency change is always in the form of a straight line. Bandwidth is the modulation bandwidth in hertz, or the distance between maximum and minimum frequency of the chirp. For example, if our SMA center frequency is set to 500 megahertz, and our chirped signal is an up chirp with a bandwidth of 20 megahertz, then the pulse will have a lower or starting frequency of 490 megahertz, and an upper or stopping frequency of 510 megahertz. Note that the maximum configurable chirp bandwidth depends on the current center frequency of the SMA. Next we need to specify the pulse properties. These are the period or time interval between the pulses and the width of each pulse. Note that the compression ratio is simply the pulse width times the bandwidth. The last parameter to configure is the trigger mode. In the default auto mode, chirp pulses are generated continuously without any external signals or user intervention. Other trigger modes allow the SMA to send chirp pulses only in response to a manual or external stimulus. Please refer to the presentation Configuring Pulse Modulation on the SMA100B for detailed instructions on how to configure these additional trigger modes. If we use the analog demodulation function of a spectrum analyzer to look at our pulses, we can see and measure the linear FM or chirp modulation. In this example, we've configured an up chirp on a pulse with a bandwidth of 20 MHz, and our pulse is 2 microseconds wide. Let's end with a brief summary. 
Linear FM or chirp modulation is one of the most common forms of pulse compression used in radar systems. This type of modulation involves linearly shifting the frequency of the carrier, up or down, during the pulse period. On the SMA100B, the chirp modulation option enables the creation of chirped pulses. This can be done via a very simple graphical user interface, although programmatic configuration and control is also possible. The user specifies the three fundamental parameters of a chirped pulse, namely the direction, up or down, the bandwidth or frequency range over which the pulse is chirped, and the width or interval of the chirped pulses. This concludes our presentation, Configuring Chirp Modulation on the SMA100B. If you'd like to learn more about different modulation types, radar testing, or signal generation solutions for radar and EW, please see the links in the video description. Thanks for watching.